So I'd mostly like to discuss simple linear regression, but I might do a little bit of polynomial regression as well. And an important concept in both of those is how to measure the vertical distance of a point to the line that you have or curve. So in this example, you can click the canvas here and it will give you a point where you click and it will attach the point then to the line or the curve either straight up or straight down. And I, ha I have it worked out here so that you can do uh, at most 10 points. After, after 10 points, if you click, you won't get it anymore. Uh, you can reset here. But the point is to try to understand how to measure the distance between a point, the vertical distance between a point and the line. So when you click, you get some information down here in this table. So the first two pieces of information that you get are the coordinates of the red point. So this red point here, you come over 4.8 and you go up 6.2. So those are the coordinates there of that point. The next piece of information is where the, the curve or the line is. Um, what's the height of the curve or the line. In other words, the y coordinate. So we already used y, so what we're going to use is uh, y with the hat symbol on top, y hat. So in this case, we come down here, y hat would be this value here, the level of the line, the height of the line, where the point connects to the line. So that apparently is 3.4. So if you want this distance here, then uh, you should subtract the two y coordinates. Um, now, depending on where the point is, you might get a uh, negative number if you subtract. Um, so you don't want that. So here's two possibilities then for measuring this distance. You could just simply take the absolute value. So here, we, uh, we take the difference of 6.2 and 3.4, and that is uh, 2.8. And you take the absolute value in case you get it negative. But the more uh, popular or common method is to actually square this value. So in this case, we take the difference and square it, and we get 8.1. And the reason that this is a little bit more popular, it's just, uh, it makes things a little bit easier to work with. It's, it's more mathematically convenient. Um, so this is, this is what we'll end up doing in the future videos using this. So we're looking at the squared distance between the two y values. So anyway, uh, with this you can add a point and you can look at, you know, what's the x and the y, where's the line, What's the difference? What's the squared difference? And you can do that for up to 10 points. Uh, you can reset it if you like and start over. Uh, and you can also switch to a curve and it's really just the same thing. Right? You're looking at the X and Y coordinates of the point and then where is the Y value for the curve? What's the difference of the Y's? And what do you get when you square those?